Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am from Lily Rose Craft Room. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make and apply a permanent adhesive glass can wrap from start to finish. But before we get started, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you guys don't miss it on any new videos. All right guys, let's get started. The cup that we're gonna be using for this video is a 16 ounce iridescent purple glass can and this is from the Stainless Steel Depot. I first start off by getting the measurements of the glass can and I have a measuring tape so this is what I use. I measure the circumference of the glass can and for this brand of cups, the circumference is usually around 9.8 inches. And then we get the measurement from top to bottom. And I usually start measuring where the curve ends, that way we get a flat surface. And the measurement I have for this one is 4.8 inches. And then I'm gonna go on Creative Fabrica and grab my design. I love this website. There's so many different designs and fonts and different files to use. And I do have a link in the description for a free trial. It's 10 free downloads for one month, whichever comes first. And there's so many different ones. And for example, here's a Valentine's Day one. And this is where I get all of my designs. Let me just show you really quick when you type in glass can wrap SVG. You get so many different ones that you could do with the print and cut, or you can do with the Cricut, like SVG, how we're gonna do with this video, or you can even do it with sublimation, but this website is golden. So make sure you check out that link to get your free trial. I already scoped out the file that I'm gonna be using and I saved it to my favorites. And let me show you how to download it. So you're gonna click it, and then you're gonna click the green bar that says download. I have a Windows computer and it drops down after it's done downloading as a zip file. We're going to open the file and then we are going to extract all. And what this does, it, it unzips the compressed file, that way we're able to use it. Now once we have our file unzipped, we're gonna go over to Cricut Design Space to edit the design. We're gonna select new project, that way we get a blank canvas. And then we're gonna go over to upload and then we're gonna select upload image and we're gonna browse in our file we are gonna select this one right here that says Valentine's Day and that was the one we just downloaded this file has different files like the DXF and a PNG but the one that we're gonna use is the SVG and I am using Windows so the SVG one is the one that has the, the Microsoft Edge logo that is the cut file next I'm gonna name my image heart wrap SVG you don't have to do this, but I like to do this that way and if in the future I wanted to use it again, I know what to look for. Then we're gonna hit upload and it should be here in our recent uploads. We click that and we're gonna add it to our canvas. So here's what the design should look like and I'm just gonna make it smaller, that way we can take a look at it. Next, we're gonna go on shapes and select the square. And what we're gonna do is make a template for the glass can. We're gonna size it according to our measurements. So we're gonna select the lock button and we're gonna unlock it. And for the width, it was a 9.8 and the height was a 4.8. Now we have the perfect size template for our glass can. Next, I'm just gonna change the color of our template. That way we're able to see our design better on it. So next, you can see that our design is behind it and we need it to go in front. So we're gonna click Arrange and we're going to select Bring to Front. And this should push our design to the front. And next, we need to make this design fit in the template because this is the size of our glass can. I'm just gonna magnify the design on the bottom left-hand side. You can make it bigger without altering the size of the design. So now I'm just fitting the heart design into our template. So now that I got my design in there, I only want that pink heart, which is gonna be a different color vinyl, but I only want that solid heart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these other cuts and we're going to delete them. And you can highlight multiple by selecting the shift button on your keyboard. And we're just gonna keep doing the same exact thing. Select shift and select those other lines and we're only gonna keep the solid pink hearts. And we're gonna do that to all of them. So I'm just gonna speed up this process just a little bit, but I'm basically just doing the same exact thing. It just took a little while. 
Now that we have all our extras removed, the only things that we have there is our gray square and all our hearts. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to select the group and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna select attach. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna attach the, all these hearts and it's gonna cut as one image. Next, I want a black backing. So we are going to select the offset button and this is gonna create a background for the hearts. So we're just gonna move that little bar down until we get our liking. And I usually do a 0.30. You can see I played around with it. I did 25 first and it was too small. So then I change it to a 0.030 and I selected apply. Now we have a background for each of our hearts that's just gonna pop better on our glass can tumbler. And before we cut it, we need to erase our template. So we're just gonna click the eyeball and it's gonna get rid of it. And now we're ready to cut it, so we're gonna select make. When you select make, a new thing is that it's gonna ask you to save your project if you wanna save or not. I always select save just because I've already had a lot of issues that if I go back, it's erased. So just to be safe, I always like to save my projects. So now we have our two cuts, the pink one and the black one. Next, we're gonna hit continue and select our material. To view all the material, we're gonna select browse all materials and we are going to go down where it says vinyl. The vinyl that I like to select is premium vinyl permanent glossy. We're gonna select it and I'm gonna click the bookmark. That way it's already there for the next cut also. So now we have our material selected now we're gonna move on to the cutting machine. So let me show you how I apply the vinyl to my sticky mat. For this project, I am using permanent adhesive vinyl and this rainbow colored vinyl is from Tech Wrap Craft and this color is called Candy Color Craft Vinyl. And when you're shopping for vinyl at techwrapcraft.com, don't forget to use code LILYROSE for your discount. I'm just cutting my vinyl with my Cricut paper trimmer and I'm cutting it at five and a half inches for both colors. Next, I'm applying my vinyl to my Cricut mat and then I'm just using a brayer roller just to flatten down the vinyl. Next, to save time, I like to use the other side of my Cricut mat if there's room and just apply the other vinyl. Next, we're gonna click the blinking arrows to load in the Cricut mat. It's gonna take the mat in just to read it and make sure it's the correct size. And once it's done reading it, the start button is gonna blink. You just gotta click that and it will start your cut. Once it's finished cutting the black vinyl, we are going to unload the mat. We are going to flip it over, load it again, and start cutting the candy colored vinyl. Since this candy colored vinyl was a little thicker than the black vinyl, it did have some trouble weeding out smoothly. So all I had to do was just press my finger against the heart and it just came off, so no biggie. But next time I do know when using this vinyl to select more pressure on the cutting machine when I cut this vinyl. And now to weed the black vinyl, see this one had no problem just because it was thinner than the candy colored vinyl. Next I'm gonna use my favorite low tech transfer tape. I always forget the name of this but I will link it down in the description below so you guys can take a look at it if you're interested. So I just lay that transfer tape over the candy colored hearts first, and then I'm gonna scrape it really good just to make sure all the hearts come off onto the transfer tape. Next, the way I like to take the vinyl off of the mat is flip it over and just peel it off, and then once again, scrape it. That way all the hearts are attached to the transfer tape, and also squeegee the back. And then we wanna slowly peel the backing from the transfer tape not the transfer tape from the backing. It's just easier that way. And then we carefully wanna place our candy colored hearts on top of the black hearts. And you just wanna carefully put one side down and with the scraper tool, flatten out the rest. And this way will avoid any air bubbles. And as you can see, I did lose one candy heart, so I checked the vinyl, and luckily it was there on my scraps vinyl, so just be careful, but I will put it on later on. And with your scraper squeegee tool, you just wanna go over all the hearts just to make sure it's really onto your transfer tape. And then to remove the sheet from the Cricut mat, once again, flip over the Cricut mat and remove the sheet. That way it doesn't roll when you try to remove it when it's facing upwards. Next, with scissors, I'm going to trim the wrap on all sides. Next, we really wanna make sure that the vinyl is going to stay on the cup permanently. So what I like to do is I like to spray the cup with alcohol 
and give it a good wipe and what this does it removes any oils on the cuff from fingerprints or whatever and this will make sure that the vinyl stays on. Next, this is the way I apply the wraps to my glass cans, that way they're straight and even. So I wrap it first and I hold it really, really tight with my hand. Next, I peel the, the transfer tape a little bit and I hold it. And you really wanna make sure that the wrap is not moving. And then I'm going to trim a little bit of the backing. And then I lay the transfer tape onto the cup and now I have it perfectly placed just like how I was holding it. Next, I'm going to peel back a little bit of the backing. And then with my squeegee tool, I'm just going to start pushing it out as I go. Doing it this way lays the hearts individually. That way we minimize any air bubbles. And you just do this for the whole entire cup. You rotate the cup a little bit and just push it out. Now that you have the wrap on the cup, you wanna make sure you give it a good scrape with your squeegee. And this is really important because you really wanna make sure that the vinyl is really attached to the cup. And this is permanent vinyl. There's no need to seal it in afterwards with epoxy or other chemicals. With proper care like hand washing and not picking at the vinyl stickers, this vinyl will stay on permanently on the cup. And I didn't forget about my little heart. So here I am just adding it on afterwards and really pressing it in. I cannot tell you how many times I've lost a little piece of my vinyl from my design, whether it's like the dot to the eye or like the little heart. Has that ever happened to you? Tell me I'm not alone. And like always, here is the finished look. Look how beautiful this came out. That black outline really did make that candy colored vinyl pop. Let me know what you think of this beginner friendly project. Will you be trying this out? Also, if you watched until the end, thank you so, so much. Show me by putting rainbow hearts in the comments below. And please remember to like and share this video. It really helps my channel grow. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.